Hi, welcome back. Um, this is um, our uh, second in the series on channels and selections. What we're going to do is, this is repeat a little bit of the last, but we're going to create a couple of real quick selections here. Remember all your attributes on the selections apply. Feather edging and it's aliasing, expand from center, fixed, whatever. Uh, we're going to create that one. Remember, select. We uh, save that to a channel. Um, then we none, we clear it. And then what we have is we have another selection here, which will be a box. Make it about like that. And what we will do is we will also save that to a channel. And, um, and we'll hit select uh, none. Now we'll go through and modify the channel attributes. Remember, um, this is, um, we're going to call this one box. Uh, select a color for it for our mask color and we're going to make that 50 we'll say OK and here we will select our attributes on this and what we will say is we'll call this one oval and another color this is already OK so I'll say OK and we'll set this one also at about 50 and we'll say OK so now if we view our box, nice sharp edges. This is the mask, or the area that is masked out, is covered by the translucent color. And here we have our oval with the nice fuzzy edges. Okay, what we're going to do now? Remember that I is to look at, um, to look at the um, uh, mask. You know the background mask. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say. Uh, channel to selection so we've got our box in there and here we're going to say um, add to selection so if you notice we have our oval and our box there together and we're going to push these into a new selection as we've said before so we're going to save it to the channel and we're going to call this one uh, edit channel attributes we're going to call this one both this would be like an example of work in progress and we're going to color it red and we're going to drop it back to about 50 percent we're going to say OK now if we put this on if we show this um, in fact we can take off just show our mask so we'll say select none and just take a look at our mask and that is the way our mask applies so we'll say OK. And then what we will do is we'll add this to channel selection. Now before, right now, we have to switch over to our layers mode to start dealing with the, uh, uh, to start modifying our layer. So we've selected, or we've selected our layer that we want to modify. Now we can come up into colors and we can go into brightness and contrast. And like let's say if we increase our brightness and if we decrease our contrast, I mean we're not trying to do anything photographic here, we're just this for just illustration. And we can decrease our brightness and we can increase our contrast again. If you'll notice it's all happening within the layer. Okay, so we can increase our contrast way out. Uh, you know, terrible adjustment here, but it, whatever. And oops, I made a mistake colors, brightness and contrast. We're going to run our brightness up and also run our contrast up a little bit. I'm going to say OK instead of just changing the box. Then we'll say select none. If you notice our changes are permanent. Now if I do an undo select none, undo brightness and contrast, go back to our layer. So any of our painting tools, uh, what they will do is they will as long as we're selected in this background layer. Um, let's see what our scale is here. That's cool. And any of our painting tools will stay within our selection. And um, we'll do an edit, undo paintbrush. As well as our filters, they will also remain inside um, our selection. Let's see if we can do one here that's fairly quick. 
so we can do a um, blur oh let's do a uh, motion blur and what we're going to do is reduce our length and angle it still might take a second to do but we'll see yeah it's going to take a few seconds to do this but all of our filters apply for these selections also so basically what you can do is you can build up some very sophisticated um, very sophisticated um, uh, um, selection criteria and save those see there are motion blur applied now if you'll notice we've saved these so if I do a file and save as and we're going to instead of a JPEG we're going to save this as an XCF image and um, let me see if I can turn this off now and we're going to save it now if I close this and then if I open up GIMP again let me see I'm going to have to turn my icons on here again uh, show desktop icons we'll do a GIMP we can hide our icons again GIMP is now coming up a little longer than I wish it would be a little bit quicker than this now if we go to open go to our samples directory and if we come down here to samples and if we load our XCF file and if we go into our dialogues and layers and here we have our channels if you'll notice all of our channels have been saved along with uh, the image so now just as a refresher you can reorder these okay if you don't like the order that they're in so we can move box to center uh, we can move oval to top remember you can only select one at a time uh, what this will do is this will chain our layers together or chain our channels together um, this is edit channels uh, what we can also do is if you wanted to reproduce a channel to um, you can uh, um, reproduce a channel so like let's say if you'd like to uh, um, increase the size of it forever for a drop shadow you can do that um, all kinds of things you can do remember this is to remove the channel um, but anything that you can do with the selection tools or the painting tools you can do inside a selection inside a channel and uh, the thing is is it's a wonderful way if we take a look at this image for example it would be very hard on this image to go through and select all of the sky and the areas in between the leaves and so forth but if you can do it in steps and save it to channels uh, it becomes a lot more foolproof and I certainly thank you for watching uh, this video on channels and selections. And uh, uh, please visit our website, www.fotolanq.com, for a lot more tutorials and uh, free tutorials. And uh, please enjoy uh, your GIMP and your photography, as I do. Thank you.